What's going on guys? We are back again and I I noticed a lot of you guys have been enjoying the Disney content that I've been putting on here for the old uh, movies, you know, whether it be you're a 90s kid or older than that or early 2000s, something of that nature. But uh, today we we're actually going to be talking about Jungle Book 2. Now, I know a lot of people probably love this movie or they it's okay or it's a classic or whatever i really don't remember too much of this movie so i wanted to go ahead and i went back to watch it so i can have an opinion of it more than just hey this is what i remember but the entirety of this movie is pretty much this should have just been taken up right after uh, the very first movie because you have where Mowgli has been in the man village for I would say however many months now he has you know a couple friends the one girl that brought him into the village Shanti and then um, Rajan who's just a little kid he's very rambunctious kind of annoying I will say that he is kind of annoying and uh, you know Mowgli's just really missing the jungle life he can't really get, you know, go out in the village because it's forbidden and, you know, the one has taken him in. He pretty much tells him, hey, you can't do that because, again, the jungle is a dangerous place. I should know. And Shere Khan has been out looking for him to get revenge. Now, Mowgli does get grounded. He goes into his room after being grounded because Shanti opened up her mouth because, again, she was going to go. They were going to go further into the jungle. And when that happened. She stopped him, and of course, that's how it occurred. Now, Baloo is missing Mowgli. He wants to see him, and he tries to go see him. Of course, Bagheera stops him. The elephants stop him. Um, everyone's trying to stop him. When he finally does see Mowgli, they get reunited, and due to unfortunate events, uh, Shere Khan gets in there, and Shere Khan stars as a ruckus to where Baloo has to get Mowgli out, and they think, oh, you know, it's after him, but Shanti is going after Baloo, and Shanti and Rajan goes into the jungle, going after Baloo and Mowgli, trying to find him, and of course, they run into Ka, they run into a few other characters, and Mowgli is kind of torn between seeing... Um, you know, Shanti and the rest of the game, but also wanting to be around Baloo and everyone else. Now, the only thing I would say that kind of was weird is, again, didn't really show a whole lot of uh, Bagheera. Barely showed Bagheera in this film. Um, Baloo was kind of there, but didn't feel like the same Baloo. I felt like, you know, John Goodman did a very good job with the role. Again, he felt like Baloo. He sounded like Baloo, and I believe he was Baloo, but again... The way this movie was again, because again, Shere Khan and Mowgli, they do fight, and we see this, you know, fight between them, and then Shanti versus Baloo, you know, be like, oh, you know, I'm here to say Mowgli, and all this other kind of stuff. It just felt like one of those movies that they were really trying to redo the first one, and it just didn't work. It just didn't work. Um, I, didn't, I didn't like most of the characters in here. Um, the new, I would say, uh, uh, Vulture who was making fun of Shere Khan was absolutely hilarious. Um, I think his name was Lucky, I think his name was. Um, he was making fun of Shere Khan the entire time. That was funny. Or when Rajan, um, the only time I really laughed at Rajan was when he was beating uh, Ka up with a stick, which I found hilarious. Because um, he's like, bad, 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 you leave Shanti alone. You know, I thought that was hilarious. Because again, I didn't like Shanti. I did not like um, Rajan. I thought they were annoying. I thought that they were, um, you know, Shanti, I didn't like she was better than Mowgli. Um, but Mowgli is a part of the jungle as well as his village. And I think, you know, the one his adoptive father pretty much figures that out at the very end of the movie, which is like, dude, you should have figured that out a long time ago. And Shanti and Mowgli at the very end of the film along with Rajan after uh, coming across Baloo and having fun with Baloo and Bogira because now Mowgli and the rest of the gang, they're able to be able to see them, I guess, whenever they want, is, is what I'm assuming, but without the village knowing. And that's pretty much how the movie ends, and it goes on a good on a good high note. But again, the animation wasn't too bad. It was pretty much that early animation that they were using for like Little Mermaid 2, Little Mermaid 3, and a few other movies, um, uh, kind of around that area, uh, you know, in the early 2000s. Again, I'm not saying this is a bad movie. I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I'm not saying it's a worse movie. It's just a movie... 
I personally would not go back to. There are a lot of Disney movies, guys, that I skipped because I was going through that phase in my life where, like, oh, I'm too cool for animated movies or stuff like that, or I'll get picked on for this and that. That's what I was going through. And I was stupid to care about what people think, and I still don't care what people think. So, again, if you're one of those, you have not seen some of these movies, give it a shot. Go check it out, and, and then, you know, have your own opinion of it. Um, if you enjoyed this movie, great. If you did not enjoy this movie, that's fine too. You don't have to enjoy the movie to go, oh, hey, guess what? I know more than this person. Just enjoy the movie, man. Just just really just enjoy the dang movie because, again, I did not like this film, but just because I did not like this film does not mean you can like this. You don't have to like this film. Um like I said, those are the issues I had with it. Um, I think there's other movies that I'm definitely going to give a shot on to at some point. I don't know when, uh, but I definitely will because, again, there's been certain movies that I personally do not remember. Uh, there's movies that I have not seen in years or there's certain other movies that I really don't remember because I never gave them a shot or it just wasn't for me personally. Uh, that's just you know, my own personal opinion about it. But guys, what do you think about this? Let me know down in the comments down below if you guys are new channel and about subscribing. Leave a big fat like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Uh, what did you guys think of this movie? Did you guys enjoy it? Did you hate it? Was it okay? What was your overall stance on it? Let me know, and I'll see you as always on the next one.